Aloha. These are the guiding principles of Aloha, and I'm Dr. Jerry Bella Rosa Tanel. As we engage in deep listening and the sharing of our experiences through stories, we exchange knowledge to one another through our collective dialogue and create a new understanding to how we engage with others and the world around us. We breathe these words to each other. This is Aloha. The sharing of our stories, the exchange of ideas, the resolution of conflict, the changing of perspectives, and the evolution of our collective being. And it begins with A. Ask questions and inquire to avoid making unnecessary gross assumptions. By asking questions with the intent to learn and not judge, we have the potential to minimize unnecessary conclusions. We all make basic assumptions. It's how we make sense of the world. But sometimes our assumptions are wrong. Finding the courage to challenge our beliefs and ask questions, not just of the person in front of you, but of, of ourselves as well. By leaning into inquiry and being genuinely curious, we can personally transform ourselves and our organizations. The great philosopher Jiddu Krishnamurti said that the only hope for humankind is in the transformation of the individual. L is to listen. Listen deeply to understand what is being said without groundless judgment. When you listen deep into the heart of the person opposite you, you hear the stories of their heart. This deep listening is a special type of communication. It involves immersing yourself within a sea of information. You're not just listening to this information in a static or passive way. Your attention creates a space around the speaker within which they can truly feel heard and understood. Listen to the spirit of the ancestors. O is to observe the sensations in your body, the body language of others, and the energy that is flowing in between. The sensations, emotions, and somatic response in your body are not just signals for you to react, but are also signals to pause and contemplate. Our bodies are full of intelligence. It tells us everything we need to know from when we're hungry to when we're sick, and it even reacts when we are full of emotions. Observe and be aware of our emotions, especially when engaging in triggering conversations. Heart is the guide through the entire process of engagement and a place to return when we find ourselves disconnecting and not deeply listening. Research has concluded that intelligence and intuition are heightened when we learn to listen more deeply to our own heart. The more we learn to listen and follow our heart intelligence, the more balanced and coherent our emotions become. Without the guiding influence of the heart, we easily fall prey to reactive emotions such as insecurity, anger, fear, blame, shame, and guilt. And finally, A, for adapt and acknowledge. It is here where we acknowledge that our perspectives and worldviews may differ from others. Concepts such as gender, race, ethnicity, and nationality seem to be born out of an innate need for us to categorize each other. It is vital to acknowledge that part of the work to create healthy and thriving communities is acknowledging that the diverse nuance of race, nationality, ethnicity, gender identity, sexual orientation, age and religion, and many other aspects make us up as cultured human beings. Within the nuance, we must learn to adapt to the complexity of our socialization. Auntie Palahi Paki says that the world will turn to Hawaii as they search for world peace because Hawaii has a key, and that key is aloha. It is my calling in life to share the guiding principles of aloha with as many people as possible, so that in return you can share it with others. This is my aloha, which I give to you today. Mahalo for visiting this site and listening to this video. To learn more about implementing the evolution of aloha within your organizations, visit us at co3consulting.net. Ahui ho.